Well, investigative journalists at Bellingcat have done some analysis on this video, and it seems to be a video that shows the moment the missile strikes the aircraft. So we'll uh, roll the video and talk you through it. Now, it's coming in from a westward direction, uh, left to right on your screen. You can't see the Ukrainian Airlines aircraft. It's just too dark, but it was climbing out of Tehran International Airport. And you'll see now uh, the moment the two collide. There is then uh, another object that you'll see spin off uh, into the distance, probably the aircraft. We've seen other video of the aircraft on fire before it explodes on the ground. So, uh, moving on with this analysis done by Bellingcat, we can also look at other elements in the video to pinpoint that it was uh, taken in the suburb of Tehran, Western Tehran, called Parand, which is close to the airport where the Ukrainian flight took off from. Uh, as you can see from the video, it's a residential area. Uh, the buildings and the lighting in the video uh, there, round about here, match on satellite images this location in Tehran. Bellingcat has also worked out that the camera or the cameraman, uh, when he takes this video, is facing northeast. Now, by measuring the time it takes from the explosion, from the moment that you see the explosion uh, to the moment that you hear the explosion, about 10 seconds, they have worked out that it's approximately that aircraft three and a half kilometres away from the camera. And that matches the flight trajectory that you can see on this next animation that you've got. This flight trajectory coming from, again, open source material like flight radar, for example. The aircraft, as we know, was flying from Tehran, the Iranian capital, to Kiev, the Ukrainian capital. It crashed just hours after Iran had fired more than uh, 20 missiles at Iraqi bases with US, British and other coalition troops there. It was a state of real tension at that time. So, Ali, where does this leave us in all of this? Well, the investigation continues. Ukrainian investigators have arrived in Tehran, 45 of them, some of them with experience of the incident involving MH17 in Ukraine when that was shot down. The Iranians have said they've also invited uh, US and Canadian investigators as well, but they categorically refute the idea that the aircraft was shot down, saying instead it was a technical error. We wait to see what the Americans are going to do. They might see this as an opportunity to restart uh, diplomatic talks, to try and persuade the Iranians that on this occasion things have just gone far too far. So there is a sliver of optimism uh, amongst what is quite clearly a very tragic incident. OK, Alistair, thank you.